the truth is out there. We believe. No, 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 the line is, I want to believe. Why don't I just believe? Like, why do I even want to believe? This show is before my time. NASA's spacecraft Dawn was pulled into Ceres' orbit this morning. This is a crucial step forward in the study of our solar system. First, let's talk about what we know of Ceres. Ceres is a dwarf planet that was discovered over 200 years ago. It went from being categorized as a planet to an asteroid and then to a dwarf planet. It's actually a third the size of our moon. Ceres is one of five known dwarf planets. Among them is Pluto as well. But Ceres is the first to ever host an orbiting spacecraft, and that spacecraft is none other than Dawn. Dawn has been traveling through space for seven and a half years and has journeyed over 3.1 billion miles within that time. And did you know Dawn has a Twitter? It's at NASA underscore Dawn. And she, he... It tweets stuff like, confirmed I am in orbit around hashtag series. And in orbit and curious about the bright spots too. We'll find out more as I get closer to hashtag series. Why don't you give her that voice? I feel like Dawn has that voice. Anyway, what Dawn is referring to is the photograph taken on February 19th that shows two intensely bright lights on Ceres' surface. Experts are excitedly speculating on what it could be. Mineral deposits, ice, water, salt, aliens! Calm, calm down, Scully. Wait, she's a skeptic, or? Trust no one. All right. Dawn's mission is to study Ceres in order to answer the hard-hitting questions like, does Ceres have polar ice caps? Does it have a liquid ocean? Could it harbor life? Has it ever harbored life? We've known that Ceres once had an icy ocean at its core, and it's believed that radioactivity within the planet melted the ice and turned it into a lake or a sea. This is especially interesting because it brings up the question of whether water equals life, and if so, could life occur under the surface of Ceres? Don will continue to research Ceres until 2016, but it does not necessarily mean that it's the end of the mission. What do you think those bright lights were? And don't you think they were aliens? Let us know in the comment section. Could have been just Val Kilmer up there with a mirror. Where's my career? Oh.